What's up, players? I'm Sarah Priebus, and this is HQ, the live trivia game show where you can win real money right here on your phone. We're all racing into the long weekend right about now, but none as much as Rebel the Cat. This furry daredevil somehow got onto the roof of a minivan going 60 miles per hour. Don't worry, according to his owner, Rebel is totally fine, just really lives up to his name. And I kind of need him to be my new BFF. Speaking of BFFs, it's Friends Friday here on HQ. But for this weekend, it won't just be Friday. You can share with your friends all weekend long. Slide right from the edge of your phone right now to see who is playing and add your buddies. Your friends' choices will pop up next to their answers before time runs out. Your friends can help you win or not. Go ahead, try it. Sharing is caring. Maybe you need some friends? Well, let me suggest some. The Gelb family, Anna, Eleanor, and Abigail. Yes, ladies. Aaron and Elsa, let it go. You got this. Sherry, your son Justin is rooting for you. Happy birthday to Oliver, Nukstradamus, and Elwin. I hope you get to celebrate with a win. I hope all 650,000 of you do. Well, maybe not because that wouldn't be very much money. Now, about that win. Are you ready for the rules? You're going to have to answer 12 questions in 10 seconds each. Get them all correct and you'll win or split the prize. Now, do you know about extra lives? They give you that extra chance to get back in if you're out. You can use one per quiz, just not on the final question. Hot tip, when you invite friends to HQ using your code, as soon as they play their first game, you'll get one. Tonight, we're giving away $5,000. Yes, an amazing 5,000 bucks. I still can't believe it. That'll get you a high-tech crate, a cozy cat pillow, and even a first-class ticket if your pet insists on coming along for the ride. Now let's get this ride moving, Q1. The F in the abbreviation TGIF traditionally stands for what? Friday, fuzzball, or fundamentally sound. Throwing you a softy here to start. Thank God it's a four-day weekend, or traditionally, thank God it's Friday. Yes, Friday is your answer here at Q1, and 659,000 of you got that. The saying works just fine for nine-to-fivers, but if you're in the service industry, you're more likely to thank God or gosh for Monday when the weekend rush and brunch maniacs are a thing of the past. Now, before we move on, don't forget, HQDs, we have our big Sunday night game this weekend at 9 p.m. $25,000 will be up for grabs. You do not want to miss a Sunday night game, ever. Okay, back to the questions. On what day is Memorial Day observed? Last Monday of May, last day of winter, or first day of summer? Since it became an official federal holiday in 71, Memorial Day has always been celebrated on the final Monday of May. Yes, last Monday of May, where we're approaching right now. 611,000 of you got that. It's also important to remember why it's observed. It's not just for the hot dogs and hamburgers. Thank you to all of the brave men and women who serve and have served our country. Thanks. Q3. What is the largest key on most computer keyboards? Spacebar, escape key, or option key? We're going back to the days of typewriters where it just made sense to give typists a huge target for something they were going to type over and over again. It's the spacebar. Yeah, spacebar is what we are looking for here at Q3, and 603,000 of you got that. Do not believe the rumor that the space bar in Star Wars was so popular it inspired a key. Not true. Q4. Which of these creatures is a reptile? Turtle, toad, or salamander? Keeping those reptiles and amphibians separate in your brain is not as easy as fruits and veggies. Oh, tomato. Gets me every time. But turtle is what we are looking for here at Q4. Yeah. I had a turtle named Yertle when I was growing up, and 252,000 of you got that. But we actually have a semi-savage question here at Q4. We have over 330,000 of you out on that. 
Now, although many turtles are amphibious, they are all classified as reptiles. Scales and claws are one way to tell them apart. Reptar, also a reptile. Trekkies, this next one is for you. Which of these is a language commonly spoken in the world of Star Trek, Klingon, Jedi, or Elvish? I've been dabbling in this a little bit, just a little bit. I wish you all kabla tonight. Now, that was Klingon for success, and you're probably feeling successful if you tapped Klingon, because Klingon's your answer. 235,000 of you got that. Klingon is spoken by, hold on to your phasers, Klingons. Now, I know why 15,000 of you tapped Jedi, but that's Star Wars, and it's not really language. Q6. Which NBA franchise has not won a championship in the 21st century? Los Angeles Lakers, Boston Celtics, or Chicago Bulls? You're halfway there! But which one of these teams has not made it all the way? Well, since Michael Jordan left in 98, the Chicago Bulls are still looking for that 21st century championship. Chicago Bulls is your answer. 138,000 of you got that. The Lakers have won many titles this century. Even Kobe went and got an Oscar. Q7. In American history, which of these positions has been held by the greatest number of people? U.S. President, U.S. Vice President, or same number? 44 different people have served as president. And if politics functioned perfectly, the answer would be the same. So obviously, it's not the same. The vice president position has seen 48 people, which makes U.S. vice president your answer here at Q7. Yes, 58,000 of you got that. Now, how is that possible? Well, several presidents had two vice presidents and FDR had three. Q8, which of these caped characters was introduced first? Batman, Superman, or Zorro? I love a good cape. Really compliments an outfit. This isn't a who wore it best question. This is a who wore it first question. This guy dates back to 1919. He goes by many names, but you can call him the answer to Q8. It's Zorro. Yes. Zorro is the answer. And 27,000 of you got that. The next question is more in line with where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Which place is not one of Bolivia's capital cities? La Paz, Santa Cruz, or Sucre? We talk about separation of powers, but some countries really live it. Bolivia's constitutional capital and Supreme Court are in Sucre. The other three branches are in La Paz, making Santa Cruz, the odd town out, Santa Cruz is your answer here at Q9. And 16,000 of you got that. Three questions left. We're leaving South America and blasting into space now. Q10. What manned space program did NASA conduct in between the Mercury and Apollo programs? Gemini, Artemis, or Vulcan? How do you bridge the Roman messenger of gods with the Greek god of 12 different things? Well, they went with something both Greco and Roman, Castor and Pollux. The Gemini twins. Yes, Gemini is the answer here at Q10. And 13,000 of you got that. Shout out to all my Geminis out there. Tis the season. Q11. What compact SUV is by the company whose name translates to three diamonds? Outlander, RAV4, or Forester? These are all Japanese auto companies. Now, I speak a little bit more Japanese than I do Klingon, so let's break this down. San is three, and Mitsu is three. Just like its logo, Outlander maker Mitsubishi is three diamonds. Your answer here is Outlander, yes. Outlander, here at Q11, 5,109 of you got that. As they would say in Japanese, Sugoi, taihan yoku dekimashita. And this is it, the final question. You made it this far. Grab onto those phones carefully. I know your palms are sweaty. Take a video of your victory, please. Here it is, Q12. What playwright is responsible for a work that has won one best play and three best revival Tonys? George Bernard Shaw, Arthur Miller, or Eugene O'Neill? 
Broadway gets as excited about play revivals as The Fast and the Furious gets about its ninth sequel. And in 84, 99, and 2012, this show took the top revival prize long decades after the inaugural 1949 production of Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller is your answer at Q12. We have 2,769 winners. Welcome to the leaderboard. <laughs> Almost 2,800 of you taking home the prize tonight, getting those bragging rights. Congratulations. That's so awesome. All right, Kaki Wee Boy, congratulations. Cassandra, I want to say you're from the Bronx, but you're probably not. It just is BRX, but congratulations to you. You guys look so cute. Birdman Adam. Are you a bird watcher? We've got to get you some bird questions one of these days. Holy Helix, congratulations on your win. Everybody, this is what you're going to be talking about at your Memorial Day barbecue. How does that feel? Starting off the big four-day weekend with a win. You should be really proud. What an incredible game, HQDs. You kicked it off with a win. Well, that'll give you something to brag about at the barbecue, along with not getting ketchup on your shirt, because that's always something to brag about. I'm Sarah Priebus. Find me on the socials. Let me know how far you got tonight. I'm always rooting for you. We'll be back tomorrow night at midnight. Yeah, that's right. Join us back here at 12 a.m. Eastern for another chance to win more money. Invite some friends now to get those extra lives. I'm going to go enjoy Fleet Week. Have an awesome Friday night. Bye. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>